Despite what Pennsylvania's AG exposed there, Texas has no plans to do the same. Texas's top law enforcer is leaving it to district attorneys and to the state's 15 dioceses to handle sex abuse allegations themselves. We listened to victims, and one of the things that they articulated was an experience and a frustration of not having been heard and not having been believed. In 2007, the Fort Worth Diocese released a list of clergy with what it called credible allegations. It's the only Texas Catholic diocese to do that. The list included 17 names with allegations dating back to 1969. 11 of those clergy members are dead. Only two of those named were convicted and sent to prison. The first was Father Thomas Texar, who was a priest at five separate Fort Worth area parishes. He was convicted of molesting an 11-year-old boy. Texar died in a Texas prison in 2015. In October, a judge handed down a five-year prison sentence to the deacon of this Wichita Falls Catholic Church. Russell William Detweiler pleaded no contest to aggravated sexual assault of an eight-year-old girl. Now, Dallas law enforcement is hunting for another priest, Father Edmundo Paredes. He's accused of molesting three boys in the Fort Worth Diocese while ministering to a parish and a school. When there is a wolf in sheep's clothing, that is startling enough. But when there is a wolf in shepherd's clothing, clothing that is horrendous. And so in there, therein lies our, our, our grave concern. Paredes, the diocese says, is now on the run.